Hello you guys and welcome underground. We are in a limestone mine currently and we just thought that we would do a little cute setup for you guys, do a little reading, you know, just because we could. We have candles, we have Sandra, she's here. I'm here on the sidelines. <laughs> we are using this deck that is new for me. It is the Wild Offerings Oracle. Starting off with that, and then we're moving into tarot afterwards. I have not used this personally yet. It was a recommendation from Sandra. Who better to recommend me decks than Sandra? <laughs> Wait, that one we don't need. About this author, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Ooh, that's a good card, you guys. Okay, hold on. Let me just... So the first card we have, you probably can't see it at all. But it's self-love. It says, show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show... <clears throat> show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. Boo! Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so... That is the overall energy. So you guys need to take better care of yourselves. You guys need to learn how to love yourself. And that is a hard, difficult task. I'm aware of that. But it is something that we all must learn to do in order to feel better about ourselves inside and outside. Yes? Then we're using the Light Seers Tarot to get some more insight on what you guys are currently going through and how to help you through it. Ooh, okay. So the first card we have is Five of Wands and that signifies to me that some of you are definitely going through a hard time right now and that could be why we have the Self Love card. It is... Um, I feel like something family related just came to mind so some of you are definitely struggling with a family member um, siblings, parents, something like close family I feel like and they might be really hard on you and hard on your person um, and that might be what is getting to you and that is where self-love comes in because you know family sometimes they feel like they tell you the truth and what you need to hear but you know Sometimes that's just a little too harsh and a little too much. So we need to look and find the love within. Yeah, we got the Justice card. So I feel like with the Justice card it is very important for you to realize that what you give out into the universe is what comes back to you and this is all about, you know, the love of law, the love of attraction. <laughs> Close enough, the law of attraction. You know, um, it's about changing your mindset. And again, with the self love card, it's all about like what you put into your world. And we actually saw two, 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 two earlier, which mm. is fits perfectly in with this because that's the angel number all about. Yeah, it is about this this whole energy of. You know what you put out into the universe is what comes back to you and about oh yes it's about keeping a positive mindset even if you feel like you're struggling that's what it was and i feel like that actually fits very well into this reading for a lot of you guys so look out for your angel number we just saw it earlier today so that might be important for some of you guys okay we have the knight of swords so again, some of you feel like your world is going very, very fast right now. There's a lot happening and you're not really sure you can keep up. Again, I feel like some of you are going through uh, a lot of drama, not necess well, not necessarily about you, could be surrounded by you, but I feel like in your general surrounding area, there's a lot of things happening. And maybe you feel a bit out of control, you feel like you're not... Uh, you feel like you're having a hard time 
finding yourself amidst of all this chaos, I feel like that will come, but again, it all starts in here. We are pulling more cards than I expected, but I just, I feel like I need to keep going. It is a good message. It is a good message. Okay, well, things are really happening for you. The next card we have is the tower. And again, the tower is not necessarily a scary card. It's just a matter of the tower represents that things need to be torn down in order for new things to be built and to be rebuilt. So whatever it is you're struggling with, it looks like to me that you sort of have to tear it down, start from scratch, start over, start something better, abandon what was, it does not serve you anymore, and move on to what matters to you. Focus on that, focus on your self-love instead of focusing on this drama that's surrounding you because it doesn't serve you, it, it's not good for your mindset, it's not good for your whole being in general. It's very, very important that you stray from that negative kind of thought. Did you hear something too? I just heard something. You think it's the bats, no? It might be freaking bats. <laughs> it was just that this. I love Halloween. <laughs> there you go, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, Actually, I'm not sorry. You no. guys will probably get a good smile out of that. Yeah. Whoa. All right. So now I'm gonna stop. Okay. So then we got the devil card. Again, I feel like it's this. Either it, this is a friend or a family member that's really, really not serving you any good purpose right now. They're doing you... It seems like they're doing like they want to think they're doing you favors, but in actually it's called it's actually it's called a bear's favor in Denmark. I don't know what's actually called in English, but the gist of it is that they're doing you favors that's not really favors. Like it seems to be on the service, but in the end it doesn't serve you. So you have to keep your mind out for that the toxic person. They think they're helping you but they're really not. So you either you have to not listen to their advice or you need to talk to them and make them realize what they're doing is a disservice to you. Now we're ending on a good card though. We have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands represent that good things are coming. You're waiting for these, for things to fall in place, for... Um, you're waiting for all your hard work to be fulfilled. And that is a beautiful card to end on, I feel like. I think this is gorgeous. There's a lot for you here, and I'm so sorry you're going through all this right now, but good things are coming for you in the end, and I'm very excited for you about that. Um, but I think that's all I wanted to say for this reading. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. I would highly, highly appreciate it. Also, let me know what you thought about it in the comment sections below. I always enjoy hearing from all of you. Apart from that, if you did enjoy it, consider subscribing to my channel. Sandra and I do crazy stuff like this all the time, and we would love to have you tag along. We. Oui. And, yeah. Also, of course, jump to her channel as well. She's also doing readings in the caves, and we are excited to share them all with you. So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.